In today's video, we're gonna be covering what I would do if I was starting off at 30% body fat. Maybe you clicked onto this because you saw a photo you really didn't like, you were at the beach, you weren't happy with how things are looking, or maybe you stopped on a body fat scale and realized you're in a range where you don't want to be. The good news is I'm here to help. So my personal story, I started really skinny and then I took the forever bulk a little bit too hard. I went from 160 all the way up to 240, as you can see here on the screen, and got pretty thick and pretty tight towards that 30% range. Since then, as an online coach, I've helped over 4,000 people transform, lose fat, and build muscle. And today I'm gonna to walk you through exactly what you need to do starting at 30% body fat. So first and foremost is to acknowledge why you are where you are. So understand you didn't gain all this weight overnight. This is gonna come from an accumulation of events, days, years, just going against the grain, being in a surplus, perhaps being in phases of traveling, vacations, and slowly stacking on that body fat. So just as you didn't put it on in one night, you can't expect to lose it in the same way that fast. It's gonna be something you're gonna to need to lose consistently and gradually. And the first step I recommend is staring at a wall, taking out a journal, and really just breaking down why you are here. Acknowledge, are you struggling by not training? Are you an inactive person who doesn't move a lot? Are you pretty sedentary? Or are you someone who every weekend, during the week you're great, and then you fall off the rails and you seem to be in this vicious cycle? By spending some time and actually reflecting, it's gonna be really easy to break down what's holding you back and what your first steps will be. And I know a lot of you will gloss over this, you won't take this seriously, but if you stare at a wall for 15, 30 minutes, an hour, however long it takes, and really analyze why you're bigger than you want to be and what you would do differently if you were a friend giving yourself advice to lose that weight, I promise you, you will see that weight come down. Now that you're aware of what's holding you back and what's really holding up your progress, it's time to get real and really get to the fundamentals of what's gonna help you lose body fat. I know you clicked on this and probably hope that I could tell you a magical ab exercise you could do, a pillar supplement you could take, a quick, easy regimen that would fix all your problems. But going back to what I said earlier, this is something you're gonna to have to work to create a new identity of who you are. Think of the old version of you and now you're gonna be creating a new version of you. And a simple way to look at health and fitness is like if you had a triangle or a stool, there's three pillars to it. So there's obviously training, there's nutrition, as well as your lifestyle factors. When these are out of whack, it's gonna cause you to not succeed. I like the stool analogy because if you're sitting down on a stool with three legs, if I were to take off one of those legs, so like let's say your nutrition sucks, you're probably gonna have a hard time balancing and it's gonna be a real shaky journey. It's not gonna be a comfortable seat to sit on. If I take away perhaps your training and your just general accountability, lifestyle, stress, sleep, all that good stuff, that's all wonky. Two legs of that stool are falling off and you're gonna be falling flat on your butt. That is not a place to be. So here's where we need to look at all three pillars of this journey in this equation that is fitness and really optimize them. The great news is I'm gonna walk you through this. First off is training. If you are higher body fat and you're not seeing the composition you want, it's really essential you're on a dedicated, consistent routine that is structured to help you progress, put on more muscle as you lose fat to really maximize your body composition. And this is where training is so essential. And I know when we have high body fat, our first response is, I'm gonna do excessive cardio, I'm gonna go really hard till I sweat, and really just leaning into this working really hard, getting a big sweat, doing a lot of movements. And this is actually counterproductive because you're just gonna end up burning calories that you can easily eat and put back on. Whereas if you really focus on a solid training regimen where you focus on hypertrophy, progressive overload, and daily underlying periodization to maximize your strength and ability in the gym, you're actually gonna be able to put on more muscle, maintain a stronger physique, and have more balance that's gonna create long-term sustainable progress. And that's where a really custom routine made for you that addresses your weaknesses, really challenges you into the heart, some hard movements, that's gonna help you put on more muscle faster and actually allow you to eat more calories. Next up is nutrition. This is the big one, and chances are this is the one that is really holding you back. So the first thing and the biggest piece of advice I can give you is healthy eating is not the answer. It's real easy to have the response similar with training to, I'm just gonna do a kind of cardio, I'm gonna burn all that fat off. For nutrition, it's real easy to say, I just need to cut out all the trash. No more desserts, no more carbs, no more anything I actually enjoy, I'm just gonna eat the most simple, boring, bland meals, and that's gonna solve all my problems. The issue with this is it's not sustainable. It doesn't take into account your lifestyle. You're gonna go out, you're gonna celebrate, you're gonna have events, you're gonna have friends over. Food is a very social 
an active part of your lifestyle. And if you're doing something short term and temporary that won't work long term, you're gonna end up shooting yourself in the foot. And this isn't gonna be something you're gonna do for your life. Your goal here is to create lasting change so you can see the results now, keep them, and continue to grow these results down the road. So with nutrition, you wanna focus on SECO, calories in, calories out. With calories in, we like a rule of 80-20, and I think this is a great place to play. Healthy eating is absolutely fantastic. It's gonna save you more, so you're gonna be more full, it's gonna provide you more energy, and it's gonna go a long way. And that's why I like that 80% rule, and then if for 20%, you can still have the things you love. You can still have some ice cream at the end of the night, you can still go to a nice dinner with friends. It gives you this ability to actually make fitness fit into your life, and this is so essential for you to have success in your journey. Pass this. Protein is the other biggest piece of advice I can give you. So now we're tracking our calories, we're aware of how many calories we're eating, we can make sure we're in a deficit and that the weight is responding accordingly. Now protein also is gonna help sate you more than carbs and fat will. It's gonna provide you more energy and it's gonna help you maintain and or put on more muscle as you lose more fat. Simple rule for protein with your tracking is just aim per gram per body weight. It can get a lot more complicated than this, but I don't wanna waste any time. I want you losing that body fat right away. So make a habit to eat more protein. You can be very full with it, and it's gonna make doing this very easy. Last but not least, and this is a big one, this is likely one that's holding you back that you don't even know it is, and that is lifestyle. So if your sleep sucks, your stress sucks, you're just absolutely all over the board, you have really erratic drinking behaviors, and you just have a really bad lifestyle in terms of balance, you can crush your nutrition, your training, and you will really get a shrivel of the results you could get if you, start, if you started to address this. I'm not saying you need to have perfect sleep every night, but it's something you need to work on just like you would a training regimen, and same with stress management. These are all things you do need to take into account. In balancing these, creating some habits, being in front of it, so if you're staying up every night watching Netflix at 4 a.m., address that, start to fix that, start to implement some tips, and I have some great resources available for that. I'll link them down below. I have an incredible podcast on sleep. I have another incredible podcast on stress that I would definitely recommend you check out, but we won't spend too much time here, but it is really important you knock in a lifestyle. You start to build a healthy routine, and that's where fitness is fun. You can work on improving all these different areas of your life and you can start to scale forward. Now that you fixed those three things, you made these a priority, you journaled on them, you reflected on them, and once again, I can give you a thousand different things to do, but the question is what do you need to do? And that's where I recommend that exercise, stare at a wall, I know it sounds hardcore, but stand at a blank wall, no music, nothing, and just think until you come up with a solution. That's gonna actually be important. Now it's important, now that we know it, it's fun, it's easy to do after being fired up from watching this video for one week, two weeks, a month perhaps, but you gotta stay consistent. You gotta do this long term. You gotta make this fit into your lifestyle. And the results come from stacking up these small actions day in, day out. Don't feel like going to the gym, go anywhere, get it done. And that's why we always say you can't rely on motivation, you need to rely on discipline. And you can't expect to become a di disciplined individual overnight. This is something you need to build up just like you do building up reps in the gym. But I assure you, you do this and you start progressing in the right direction, you'll break past that 30% body fat so fast. This is an exciting range because you can see a lot of change really quick. It just requires you to actually put in that action, make those uncomfortable decisions, win those small wars, and you will see some incredible progress. But saying that, if you want all of this done for you, I would love to take care of it for you, do all the hard work, give you the instructions you need for success, take care of your training, sign your nutrition, explain what you need to do, look at your situation, actually tell you what you need to do so you can avoid that uncomfortable exercise of staring at the wall. So if you want to learn more about my online coaching and working one-on-one -on -one with me to where you can see your guaranteed results, just as 4,000 other individuals have, First link in the description down below. Otherwise, go ahead, implement these things, get them done, see the change you want, and get some phenomenal results. I wanna thank you for tuning in today. If this helped you, smash like. I assure you this is the guaranteed path to getting this done. Don't fall track the quick fixes because I'm sure you have before and they failed. So go in, see the change, do the work, and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.